Alrighty, everybody. Second of three videos to be made today, and we'll talk about the third when we get there. But this is the second video of the day, and it is about a event that, you know, gets a lot of flack lately, and in the realm of sports entertainment, it is the 2020 Royal Rumble, the first of four WWE events that I will watch this year. Um, as it stands, I do not care for AEW at all. Um, I do not care for NXT at all. I, I I really do not care about that that war that's going on on Wednesday nights. Impact is basically dead. Um, ROH is basically, uh, it's kind of dying itself. Um, New Japan, still New Japan, they're putting on great matches and stuff, but I don't watch Japanese wrestling. Um, and other promotions like AAA and CMLL, uh, 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 who cares? I don't. Um, and it's really been hard to try and be a wrestling fan lately because of things that have happened um, as far as WWE goes, and as far as AEW goes, the whole thing with AEW trying to prove themselves um, has been crazy. Um, it's been a crazy thing. And again, I don't watch NXT, so I don't know anything about the NXT events. I mean, I'm sure there'll be great matches, but I just have never connected with NXT. Um, like, it, it, it's... It, it, it took a while from, you know, like going from the competition stage to where it is now it proceed as the third brand, as the best brand. And if, and if I didn't start watching before that point to when, you know, NXT was being, you know, propped up as this good brand, I, I don't watch now. And it's just not been great. So what in the world has happened to WWE since the last time um, I watched, which was Survivor Series back in November? Well, of course, I don't really remember too much about Survivor Series anyway, and I didn't really care for Survivor Series at all. Um, but let's take a look and see what's going on around here. Um, first things first is that Brock Lesnar is entering the Royal Rumble at number one. Mostly because there's nobody to challenge him, and I get that completely. I don't think there's really anybody on the WWE roster that you could feed to Brock that could give him a legit challenge. Because, I mean, it, it just, it has not looked good. Some, there's some matches that just do not fit the mold, like the Rey, yeah, that was, that was the big thing where Rey Mysterio ended up challenging Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, and it just did not go too well at all so i'm not sure um what in the world wwe was thinking with that uh you know it you know it would have worked you know maybe like 15 years ago but now it's just like uh why and the whole dominic thing was just kind of weird um but yeah um so rock's not defending his championship at at the event, which I don't really care, I don't really mind, I don't find that the um, WWE Championship should be, you know, defended, you know, at every single event and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, it is what it is, um, but it seems that, you know, the second thing which will um, be a thing um, is Becky Lynch, the man, as we meme turned up to be, which has kind of gotten stale, to be completely honest, uh, challenging Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship, and boom, there it is, um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's been, it, it, it's, it, it's gonna be pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie, because, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen these two face off together in a match by themselves, um, um, but, you know, I don't, I don't think I have, unless I might be mistaken or something like that. But this is going to be actually a good matchup, I guarantee you. Um, again, you know, scripts and storylines and stuff can change. And, you know, I don't buy for a second. Um, whoever whoever will get the nod for, you know, who, whoever will get the nod for, as far as the writing team's eyes and stuff like that goes. Um, you know, it's going to be a thing. But, um... 
Yeah, Bray Wyatt, the fiend, the the Firefly Funhouse guy who has just changed his gimmick and has finally gotten the opportunity that he has needed for a while now. I am so glad the man has the WWE Universal Championship. And again, the Universal Championship is fucking stupid, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, but Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt they're still feuding. Um it's been a thing for a while now since Survivor Series and watching that match was just absolutely, man, should have gave them more time to shine in that match, to be completely honest with you. Um, and, you know, they're going to fight again at, at this event, and it should be fun. It should be fun, let me tell you. Um, and, you know, um, the other thing that kind of just circulated is Roman Reigns taking on Baron Corbin, King Corbin, or as we all know now, uh, the King of the Ring, you know, happened a while back and Baron Corbin won it. Um, but yeah, um, Corbin's participating in the Royal Rumble as well, but they're going to have a match before that. Um, and it's, it's going to be pretty interesting to see, you know, Baron Corbin is a guy that everybody pretty much hates, and Roman Reigns is also a guy that people kind of are mixed about, but, you know, as long as you don't really put these two, you know, in, in, in the whole spotlight, I think this will be a good match as well, um, and everything like that. So, what else is here? What else is here, you know? Um, yeah, Seamus, <laughs> Seamus, hey, also, who in the hell is Shorty G, that's how you know I don't really watch, oh, that's Chad Gable, Seamus is taking on Ch Chad Gable, the ruler of, what the, f what in the world is going on here? Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I, I was not—I was not expecting um, that at all. Um, but um, yeah, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy thing. Let me tell you, um, it's just gonna be a regular singles match, you know. Um, and finally, Bailey, um, the SmackDown Women's Champion, taking on Lacey Evans. Um, that's going to be a pretty interesting matchup right there. Um, they're in a little feud right now, um, as far as you know, things going on and stuff like that. Um, Evans basically turned her face, and Bailey has been this heel character, which really doesn't suit her, to be completely honest. Uh, but it, it, it it's kind of working, but it's kind of not. Um, so Lacey Evans is now a face, Bailey's now a heel. Um, whatever. Whatever, what, what, whatever, man. Um, but yeah, those are the five matches before we get to the real main events of the show, which is the 30 men. 30. The 30 man and 30 woman Royal Rumble matches. These two matches will probably take an hour. Um, both these matches will probably take an hour, and I guarantee you it's gonna be a it's gonna be another wild ride. Of course, we know that Brock Lesnar is number one on the men's side, and you know in the men's Royal Rumble we got Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Eric Rowan. Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Elias, of course, um, King Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Otis, Tucker, and I'm not sure who Otis and Tucker are, so forgive me, Rusev, Bobby Lashley, which, and if you don't know about the Rusev, Bobby Lashley, Lana storyline, that is one of the most disgusting storylines that I have seen, um, you know, take place, you know, I follow WWE, but I don't really watch too many shows, um, again, I only watch the four a year, as we've already mentioned, um, but yeah, it's, uh, 
just a bizarre storyline that should not have even come up at all, you know. But moving on, um, Alistair Black, Buddy Murphy, Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and Samoa Joe. Um, as far as, you know, who's going to be in the men's world, and SmackDown is going to air on Friday, so there could be more... Um, guys entering the men's Royal Rumble and as far as the women's Royal Rumble goes there's only four competitors that have been announced Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, Sarah Logan um, Sarah Logan announced that on her Twitter that she was entering the match so there's only four women that have been announced I'm sure they're probably going to pull you know some guest stars and stuff like that you know out of a hat and stuff like that you know some old um, veterans and stuff for the Women's Royal Rumble, um, and it'll be fun to see, you know, what in the world's gonna happen, you know, uh, as far as both these matches are gonna go, because, you know, of the way, the way the Royal Rumbles are is, is so unpredictable and so crazy, um, and you never know what's gonna happen as far as these matches go. So, you know, it's gonna be fun um, once again to watch the Royal Rumble. And I am so excited. I'm so glad that I finally, you know, got the courage to, you know, just start covering, you know, this event on this channel and things like that. And it's gonna be a fun of fun event. And, you know, um, you know, there's probably going to be some pre-show pre matches um, that will take place before these main seven. And I'm sure, you know, one or two matches could be added to something else or something like that to a pre-show or whatever. Uh, but, you know, um, it's going to be a great, great event, I guarantee you. Um, hopefully it will be an improvement over the last years and the year before that and so on and so forth. So, yeah, Royal Rumble. I am ready for Sunday ready for this event to, you know, just kick off in the high gear, um, and yeah, it's gonna do it for this video, and we'll see you guys in a few moments for the third and final video of the day, so, you know, y'all take care.